Arizona's largest freeway construction project in state history, the Loop 202 South Mountain Freeway, will complete the Loop 202 freeway system, connecting the east and west valleys through southwest Phoenix. The freeway consists of four construction segments, Pecos, Center, Salt River, and I-10 Papago. The Pecos segment begins at the existing I-10 and Loop 202 Santan Freeway interchange. The new freeway will replace the Pecos road connection and provide a freeway extension of Loop 202 to the west with three general purpose lanes and one HOV lane in each direction. Bus riders will be able to access the 40th Street Park and Ride lot from an entrance off the westbound on-ramp. The freeway will be elevated on an overpass at 32nd Street, allowing critical stormwater flows to remain unaffected. Throughout the Pecos segment, sound walls will be located along the freeway to mitigate freeway noise in the neighborhoods to the north. The freeway will avoid the Foothills Community Association well located west of 24th Street. New sleeves and pipes will be constructed to allow the well water to pass under the freeway. Similar to other valley freeways, the South Mountain Freeway will have a rolling profile, meaning the freeway will be elevated, at grade, or partially depressed in various locations. This profile will maintain existing drainage flows to the Gila River Indian community, in addition to reducing right-of-way requirements. A shared-use path will be located south of the freeway between 40th Street and 17th Avenue. The six-mile shared-use path will provide pedestrians, cyclists, and other community members with an alternative recreational facility. Diverging diamond interchanges will be located at Desert Foothills Parkway and 17th Avenue. This type of interchange, commonly known as a DDI, is an innovative, proven solution to improve safety and mobility for motorists, cyclists, and pedestrians. A DDI requires motorists to briefly cross to the left-hand side of the road through a carefully designed crossover intersection. West of 24th Street, the freeway's landscaping will reflect the natural desert surroundings. Existing native trees, plants, and cacti will be salvaged and replanted after construction is complete. A main goal of the project was to minimize impacts to the South Mountains. The freeway will cut through the western tip of the mountain ranges. The slopes will be blended using treatments to match the natural surroundings. The freeway will use approximately 0.2% of the South Mountain Park and Preserve, or 31 acres of the total 16,600 acres. The center segment is home to some of the most sensitive environmental resources along the project. Five multi-use crossing locations were identified in coordination with the Arizona Game and Fish Department and the Gila River Indian Community. Multi-use crossings will be built to allow pedestrians, hikers, equestrians, and wildlife to safely cross under the freeway. Throughout the corridor, the freeway was designed to avoid important resources. The three Gila River Indian Community well sites were avoided by moving the interchange at 51st Avenue to Estrella Drive and realigning the freeway at 59th Avenue south of Elliott Road. The Estrella Drive interchange will feature a double roundabout, which is a proven way to reduce crashes and improve traffic flow. When approaching a roundabout interchange, motorists reduce speeds and yield to vehicles circulating within the interchange. When it is safe to enter the interchange without changing lanes, motorists may exit to the east, west, or re-enter the freeway. The Salt River segment will feature aesthetic treatments inspired by historic irrigation patterns and agricultural backgrounds, which can be recognized through the riverbank and leaf portal aesthetic areas. The freeway elevation will be partially depressed and Elliott and Dobbins roads will cross over the freeway. The freeway will go over all streets from Baseline Road north to I-10. Stormwater will be collected in a channel on the east side of the freeway. Drainage basins will manage the flow through the channels to the Salt River. The freeway will provide a much needed grade separated or elevated crossing of the Salt River. The design of the 3,000 foot bridge crossing supports a future connection with State Route 30. A pedestrian bridge will be located north of Broadway Road to connect the Rio Del Rey neighborhoods. 
The bridge will feature artwork designed in coordination with the City of Phoenix Office of Arts and Culture. North of Lower Buckeye Road, the freeway will align with 59th Avenue. As the final segment of the Loop 202 approaches I-10, motorists will notice unique artwork within the Urban Link Aesthetic Area. Access to businesses will be maintained via one-way frontage roads on each side of the freeway. The frontage roads and freeway will pass over the railroad, eliminating conflicts with railroad crossings and whistle noise. The frontage roads will end at Roosevelt Street. The South Mountain Freeway connects with I-10 near 59th Avenue with a new freeway-to-freeway -freeway system interchange. The interchange will allow eastbound and westbound motorists on I-10 to connect to the freeway. Additionally, HOV traffic from the South Mountain Freeway will be able to connect directly to HOV lanes along I-10 to and from downtown Phoenix. The South Mountain Freeway will be completed in late 2019 and is Arizona's first freeway to be completed through a public-private partnership. When complete, the 22-mile-long South Mountain Freeway will improve local and regional mobility, help reduce congestion on the region's roads and freeways, and provide a gateway to the Southwest Metropolitan Phoenix area.